Hello, students. Today, we're going to dive into one of the fundamental concepts in programming, loops. Loops are essential for performing repetitive tasks effectively, efficiently in Java. Let's explore the basics of loops and how to use them. So what are loops? Loops are constructs in programming that allow you to execute a block of code multiple times. And they are used to automate repetitive tasks, making your code more efficient and easier to manage. So let's talk about the types of loops in Java. Java provides several types of loops. First is for loop, second while loop, third do while loop. And each loop type has its has its own use case and syntax. So for a for loop, a for loop is used when you know in advance how many times you want to execute a statement or a block of, or a block of statements. Okay. And the syntax would look like follows. Keyword for, and then in parentheses, you have an initialization step. Uh, after that semicolon there, you have a uh, condition step to know that the condition for it's true. And then at the end, you have an update step so it knows what to update so that it can then test the new condi test the condition again. And it this also eventually will get it to stop the condition. And then inside of the curly brackets, after this uh, these parentheses, or curly, uh, curly brackets statement, You'll have the code that you want to repeatedly utilize. Okay? That's how a for loop works. So let's take a look at an example. Let's say I wanted to loop from the number zero to four. Okay? So if I wanted to loop from the number zero to four, and let's just print out all, all of our results as well. Just to keep it simple. There we go. So what we would do is we that initialization step first, right? So uh, we have four in the parentheses, our initialization. We're initializing the variable i to equal zero. Uh, this is something that's very commonly used because this allows you to, uh, you can kind of think of it as like your starting point, especially if you're indexing something. And then you're going to go up with the update, and your, your condition will tell you when to stop. Speaking of conditions, your condition uh, step here, we're going to, is we're going to continue to do this loop. As long as i is less than 5. Well, it starts at 0, and it's going less than 5. Well, how the heck will it get to 5? Or get up? Will it get to 5 so it can finally stop? Well, that's what the update step is for. i++ plus plus means uh, it's the same as saying i plus equals 1, or i equals i plus 1. So at the first initialization of this for loop, i is 0. And then once it goes through and executes once, it gets updated to become 1. That's still less than 5. Hmm. So it'll get executed again, and then it'll get updated to that two, executed again, get updated from three, it's still less than five, updated again to four, still less than five, get updated one more time, which is five, which is not less than five, so then it stops. Okay. So let's take a look at seeing that zero to four here. So here is zero, one, two, three, and four. You don't always have to use a variable that you initialize inside a for loop. This is just an example so you can see how that i does update. Okay. Next, the while loop. Well, a while loop is used when you want to uh, repeat a block of code as long as a condition is true. Uh, the, the condition is checked before the loop is executed. So this would go on for. Uh -huh. Uh, so the syntax for a while loop looks looks like the following. Okay. You say while, and then in parentheses you give the condition that's going to be checked uh, to see if it can be executed, and then the code will be executed. Okay. This generally means that you will be updating something that your condition will test within the code that's being executed. Unlike in the for loop, you have to be have a separate update step. You need to have that update happen inside the code, otherwise, when you're going to update. And what will happen? Let's take a look at an example. Um, let's uh, do uh, similar to what we did before. So we do our 0 to 4 thing. So 
this time. Uh, anyway, we, we're gonna start. We're gonna initialize something to be updated within the while loop. Let's call it I don't know I. What else? Uh, which we already have before up here. So let's see. So we're gonna uh, we're gonna have I zero, and then we're going to loop this while I is less than five. So it was for loop. So while i is less than five, what are we going to do? We're going to print out the iteration that we're on. So this will start at zero, and then we're going to update it here with inside the while loop so that i does increase by one. So it's going to go zero, then one, then two, then three, then four, as we already saw before. And let's do this loop. Dance, loop, loop, dance, dance, dance. Oh, there we go. So this is only initialized inside the for loop, so we're putting it now here so that we can be seen by the particle graph. So there we go. We get exactly what we expect to get. Nice. Yeah. All right. Lastly, do while loops. A do while loop is similar to a while loop, but it guarantees, guarantees guarantees that the code block is executed at this price. Because the condition is checked after the code block is executed. So, let's take a look at the syntax for do while loop. They go do while loop. So do this code while this condition is true. So it's gonna do it. It's gonna check the condition. So this was a pre-condition check. This is a post-condition check. Pre meaning before. So before it actually executes the code. Uh, post meaning after you execute the code. Okay. So we're gonna do this code. Then we're gonna see if we keep doing it while this condition is true. Again, you probably want to have something update the condition with the code that's executed. Otherwise, how is it gonna get updated? Um, let's do what we did before. Okay. So, we're going to look while I is less than five. So, what are we going to do? Uh, well, we're going to print out iteration and we're going to update it while I is less than five. So look here, iteration zero for for the for loop, iteration zero for the while loop, and now the same thing for the do while loop. So again, notice that we initialize something outside um, outside of the do while loop first, just like we did with the while loop. So the for loop that happens inside of the for loop. Then we tell it, hey, do this code, and we still update within that, just like we did with the while loop. And there's other stuff within the for loop, and then with the while. We give the condition that we're going to use by. Okay, so we check. All right. So let's talk about. Oh, we're going to teach you You get an infinite loop. So be careful with loops conditions. If the condition never becomes false, if it never becomes false, if it never becomes false, if it never becomes. Oh, sorry, I got caught up in the loop. Uh. If the condition never becomes false, you will create an infinite loop, which will make your program run indefinitely. For example, uh, something I think we can use all the time. While true, <laughs> if the condition is always true, ah, this loop will run forever. And then eventually something should happen. Computer time down, future window. Um, so in summary, loops are powerful tools in Java. 
that allow you to execute a block of code multiple times. Understanding and using loops will make your code more efficient and easier to manage. So here's a re here's a quick recap. For loop, use when the number of iterations is known. You know how many times this? While loop, use when the number of iterations is not known and it depends on the condition. Do while loops, use when you need to ensure the code executes at least once. And with these loops, you can handle a repetitive task in your Java program. This is the song that does it end. It just goes on and on, my friend. Some people started singing and not knowing what it was. And we'll just keep on singing it forever just because this is the song that does it end. It just goes on and on, my friend. Some people started singing and not knowing what it was. And we'll just keep on singing it forever just because.